Draw the graph of h of x equals f divided by g of x. Derive h of x and state the domain and range. In part a, f of x equals 1 and g of x equals x. Divide the y values of the first point to get negative 0.5. Record this value in the table. Divide the y values of the next point to get negative 1. One divided by zero is undefined, so record does not exist in the table. Divide the y values of the next point to get one. Divide the y values of the final point to get 0 0.5. We can now draw the graph of h of x. Note that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0 and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Next, we'll derive the function h of x. Replace f of x with 1 and replace g of x with x. This gives us the combined function h of x equals 1 over x. The domain of h of x is x belongs to the set of real numbers with the restriction that x cannot equal 0. The range is h of x belongs to the set of real numbers with the restriction that h of x cannot equal 0. In part b, f of x equals 1 and g of x equals x minus 2. Divide the y values of the first point to get negative 0.5. Record this value in the table. Divide the y values of the next point to get negative 1. One divided by zero is undefined, so record does not exist in the table. Divide the y values of the next point to get 1. and divide the y values of the final point to get 0 0.5. We can now draw the graph of h of x. Note that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2 and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Next, we'll derive the function h of x. Replace f of x with 1 and replace g of x with x minus 2. This gives us the combined function h of x equals 1 over x minus 2. The domain of h of x is x belongs to the set of real numbers with the restriction that x cannot equal 2. The range is h of x belongs to the set of real numbers with the restriction that h of x cannot equal 0. In part c, f of x equals x plus 3, and g of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. Divide the y values of the first point to get negative 0 0.5. Record this value in the table. Divide the y values of the next point to get negative 1. Zero divided by zero is undefined, so record does not exist in the table. Divide the y values of the next point to get one. And divide the y values of the final point to get 0 0.5. We can now draw the graph of h of x. Note that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 3 and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Next, we'll derive the function h of x.
replace f of x with x plus 3, and replace g of x with x squared plus 6x plus 9. The denominator is a perfect square trinomial, so it can be factored to x plus 3 squared. Cancel to get h of x equals 1 over x plus 3. The domain of h of x is x belongs to a set of real numbers, with the restriction that x cannot equal negative 3. The range is h of x belongs to a set of real numbers, with the restriction that h of x cannot equal 0. In part d, f of x equals the square root of x plus 3, and g of x equals x plus 2. The first point only exists on the graph of g of x, so we can't divide. Record does not exist in the table. Divide the y values of the next point to get 0. One divided by zero is undefined, so record does not exist in the table. Two divided by three rounds to 0 0.67. Three divided by eight is 0 0.375. We can now draw the graph of h of x. The left arm of the graph begins at x equals negative 3, since that is the first point where the two graphs overlap. There is a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2, and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Next, we'll derive the function h of x. Replace f of x with the square root of x plus 3, and replace g of x with x plus 2. The domain of h of x is x is greater than or equal to negative 3, with the restriction that x cannot equal negative 2. The range is h of x belongs to a set of real numbers. Note that the point negative 3, 0 exists on the graph of h of x, so 0 can be included in the range.